The debate over whether marijuana should be legal is growing now. A six-year-old Georgia boy at the center of this fight died on Monday. Now, Abe Hopkins' family wonders whether the passage of a bill legalizing medical marijuana might have saved his life. Families like Abe's believe cannabis oil extracted from marijuana plants and taken orally can reduce the number of life-threatening seizures that their children have. And, of course, that would make their lives more li livable. We're seeing this debate intensify all across the nation, though. This year, 11 states have passed legalization, or legislation, I should say, loosening restrictions on marijuana use and possession. The New York Times recently published an op-ed asking the federal government to repeal the ban on marijuana. And Republican Congressman Scott Perry is also leading the charge, calling for federal law to legalize medicinal marijuana oil, which has low levels of THC, of course, the chemicals that makes uh, users high. Another family at the center of this debate is that of Haley Cox from Georgia. Haley has severe epilepsy, and it's left her unable to walk, talk, or even sit up on her own. Well, the medications she was taking to control her seizures left Haley near death. Her family heard a liquid form of medical marijuana might help, but it wasn't available in Georgia because it's illegal there. So Haley and her family packed up and moved to Colorado for treatment. Her mom, Janaina, spoke with uh, me last month about the progress that she's made. Listen to this. She actually has a personality now, and she smiles more, and she's learning to sit up on her own, which is amazing. <laughs> she, uh, she lets us know that she's actually in there. Before, she would just sort of stare straight through us, and now she's actually looking us in the eye, and when we smile at her, she smiles back, which is, is the best thing in the world. Well, you know, as a mom, to hear you say she lets us know she's in there, that really gives us a, an image of, of what she must have been like before this. Can you help us understand, you know, how these treatments are administered to her? Um, it's in an oil form. Uh, Haley's medicine is uh, a strain called Haley's Hope, and it's a 24 to 1 uh, CBD THC ratio. And it comes in an oil, which uh, you can either put underneath their tongue like a dropper with Tylenol, or you can put it, uh, she has a special port in her tummy, so we put it down her G-tube with her food. And it's, it's very easy. She's not smoking it, and she's not eating it. Well, she's not eating it as in like a brownie form or anything. It's just an oil that goes under her tongue or through her G-button. What would you like to say to, you know, lawmakers in Georgia, because I know you really want to sway them, um, look at Haley. I mean, she was on her deathbed when we got out here. She's having 200 plus seizures a day, and now she's only having six or seven on a really bad day. So she's trying to sit on her own, and she's smiling, and she's a totally different child than what she was. So just look at the proof that this is working, and we've gotten off of one of her seizure medications, which was amazing. So I just, I just look at the proof in the child, and, and, and you'll see that this stuff actually works.